Now let us discuss about 4 bit binary to gray code converter. Here the number contains 4 bits. So totally we will have 2 power 4 that is 16 combinations. Here this is the truth table. We have 3 columns. First column represents decimal number. Here we have 16 decimal numbers. Why? Because the number has 4 bits. 2 power 4, 16 combinations. Here we have 16 decimal numbers from 0 to 15. Second column represents 4 bit binary number such as B3, B2, B1 and B0. And third column represents 4 bit gray number, gray code such as G3, G2, G1 and G0. So here the input number is binary number whereas output number is gray code okay we know how to represent a decimal number in binary notation so simply we have to use 8421 notation so how we can represent zero in binary notation zero means all zeros so one means one means triple zero one next to two means zero zero one zero how to get three by adding two and one so three means 0, 0, 1, 1. So let us take some other number. Let us likewise we can represent any number. Uh, let us take 10 here. What is 10 here? Sum of 8 and 2. So 1, 0, 1, 0. So 10 means 1, 0, 1, 0. Let us take 14. How we can represent 14 here? 14 means 8 plus 4 plus 2. So triple 1, 0. So likewise we can represent a decimal number in binary notation with the help of 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. Now let us see how we can obtain the gray code for the corresponding binary number. So let the number is, let the number is, let the number is 0, 0, 1, 1. Let the number is 0, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0, 1, 1 is nothing but decimal 3 binary number. Now let's see how to obtain gray code for this number. Here the logic is very, very simple. First bit, we have to keep the first bit as it is. Next we need to perform exclusive or operation and the first two bits of the binary number. We know what is exclusive or. Exclusive or means same bits means output is zero. Same bits means output is zero. Whereas different bits means output is one. So here 0, 0, 1, 1 means output is zero. Whereas different bit means 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0 means output is 1. Okay. So what is the XR of 0 and 0? Same bits. So that means output is 0. We have to write that 0 here. Next we need to perform XR operation on 0 and 1. So different bits. Different bits means output is 1. So we have to write 1 here. Next to perform XR operation on 1 and 1. Same bits means output is 0. So 0, 0, 1, 0 is the gray code for the number 0, 0, 1, 1. So for the binary number 0, 0, 1, 1, what is the gray code here? 0, 0, 1, 0. Now let us take another number. Let the number is 1, 0, 1, 0. Let the number is 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 0. We have to write the first bit as it is. So let us write the first bit as it is. Next we need to perform XR operation on the first two bits of the binding number. So 1 XR 0 means 1. Next to perform XR operation on 0 and 1. Second and third bits. So 0 and 0 exclusive R 1 means different bits. 1. Next we need to perform XR operation on the last two bits. 1 exclusive R 0 means 1. So all 1's. So for 1 0 1 0 what is the gray code here? All 1's. Let us take the last number. Let us take the last number. That is all ones. We have to write the first one as it is. So one. Next to perform XR operation on the first two bits. What is one exclusive R one? Zero. So we have to write that zero as the second bit. Next to perform XR operation on second and third bits. One exclusive R one means zero. So we have to write that bit as the third bit. Next one exclusive R one means zero. So that is nothing but fourth bit. So in this way we can get gray code for the corresponding binary number very very easily. Now we have to derive the logical expressions, the expressions for the outputs 
such as G3, G2, G1, G0. Here we have four inputs. So in order to simplify the expression, it is better to use a four variable Karnoff map. So first we are deriving the expression for G3. So here what are the inputs here? We have four inputs. First two, two inputs are B3, B2 and right hand side represents B1, B0. We know the possible combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Let us observe G3 column here. Let us observe G3 column here. So here for all the last 8 combinations, for all the last 8 combinations, the output is 1. So we have to write 1 in the corresponding cells. So for 1, 0, 0, 0, output is 1. For 1, 0, 0, 1, output is 1. For 1, 0, 1, 0, output is 1. For 1, 0, 1, 1, output is 1. So in 1, 0, in all the columns, we have to write 1 here. 1, 1, 1, 1. Likewise, if you observe the last four, four rows, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So the output is 1. So in 1, 1 row also, we have written 1 for all the cells. Now we have to do the mapping. Okay. Uh, here we can combine these 8 cells as a group. We can combine these 8 cells as a group. Okay. So what is the expression here? Here if we observe 1, 1, 1, 0, the first one is common. So here the expression is G3 equal to what is first one here? First one means B3. B3. Here B2 is changing from 1 to 0. So there is no need to consider B2. Whereas B1 and B0 are changing. So there is no need to consider them. So here in order to obtain the gray, gray code, what we are doing? We are keeping the first bit as it is. What is the first bit? B3 bit. So that is nothing but output only. Okay. Now let us derive the expression for G2. If we observe G2, here we have 4 8 ones. We have 8 ones. So for all the 8 ones, for the corresponding ones, we have written 1 in the Karnoff map table. If we observe here, 0 1 double 0 means 1. So 0 1 double 0 means 1. So next one, 0 1 0 1 means 1. 0 1 0 1 means 1. Next one, next two combinations, 0 1 1 0 is 1. So for all 0 1s, the output is 1. Okay. Next for all 1 0s also. 1 0 0 0 output is 1. 1 0 0 1 output is 1. 1 0 1 0 output is 1. So for all, for the in this row also, for all the cells we have written 1. So now what we can do? We can combine these 4 cells into 1 group. We can combine these 4 cells into 1 group. Now let us derive the expression. So here G2 is equal to, G2 equal to, if we observe here, if we observe this row, if we observe this row, 0, 1, 0, 1 is nothing but B3 bar B2. 0, 1 is nothing but B3 bar B2. B3 bar B2. Next, next, if we observe B1, B0, B1, B0 values are changing. So there is no need to consider B1, B0. Likewise, if we observe this group, if we observe this group, B3, B2 values are 1, 0. So 1, 0 means... 1, 0 means B3 bar B2. Whereas B1, B0 values are changing. So there is no need to consider them. So B3 bar B2 plus B3 bar B2 plus. Yeah, what, what is this combination? Yes, this combination is B3, B2 bar. B3, B2 bar. We know that this is the formula for A exclusive or B. We know that it is in the form of A exclusive or B. We know the formula for A exclusive or B. A bar B plus A B bar. So here also we got B3 bar B2 plus B3 B2 bar. So we can write this as B3 exclusive or B2. B3 exclusive or B2. Yeah, if we observe any number, let, let the number is 1010. What is the first number? We have to keep the first number as it is. So that's why G3 equal to B3 only. G3 equal to B3 only. And how to obtain the second number? By performing XR operation on B3 and B2. So that is nothing but equation. B3 exclusive or B2. Now let us derive the expression for G1. So in G1 column we have 8 ones. So 8 ones. So for all the for all the corresponding combinations, we have written ones here. We have eight ones here. Now let us group them. We can combine these eight cells into one group. Okay. So G1 equal to what is the formula now? 0, 1, 1, 1. Second one is common. Second one is common. What is second one? B2. 
If you observe here, 0, 0, 0, 1. First to 0 is common. What is first to 0? B1 bar. Next. We can combine these opposite cells. These four cells into one group. Why? Because 0, 0, 1, 0 are nothing but adjacent cells. They differ by only one variable. That is G, that is B3. Okay. Uh, 1, 1, 1, 0. If you observe here, 0, 0, 1, 0. Second 0 is common. What is second 0? B2 bar. If we observe these two cells, first one is common. What is first one? B1. So this is also in the form of uh, A exclusive or B. So B2, B1 bar plus B2 bar, B1. So we can write this as B2 exclusive or B1. B2 exclusive or B1. Here, if we observe here, how to get G2 here? By performing XR operation on these two inputs. What is this input? B2 input. What is this input? B1 input. So that is nothing but the formula for G1. B2 exclusive or B1. Now let us derive the expression for G0. Here we have 8 ones. So for all those uh, combinations, we have written once here. So we can form these 4 cells as 1 group. We can form these 4 cells as 1 group. So for space constraints, uh, I am erasing this portion. I am erasing this portion. Uh, now let us derive the expression for G0. 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 So here we have four ones here. B3, B2 values are changing. So there is no need to consider them. Whereas 0, 1. 0, 1 means B1 bar B0. B1 bar B0. Plus, yeah, here also B3, B2 values are changing. There is no need to consider them. Whereas B1, B0 values are 1, 0. So 1, 0 means B1, B0 bar. So we can write this as B1 exclusive or B0. So how to get B1 here? How to get uh, G0 here? By performing exclusive or operation on these two inputs. So these two inputs are nothing but B1, B, B0. So now the expressions are derived. Now we have to construct logic circuit diagram. Here what are the inputs here? Here we have four inputs. So first input is B3. So this is nothing but logic circuit diagram. Second input is B2. Third input is B1. Fourth input is B0. What are the outputs here? G3, G2, G1 and G0. What is the formula for G3? G3 equal to B3 only. So directly we will get G3 from B3. G3. Next, G2 equal to G2 equal to what is the formula here? Uh, this formula is nothing but B3 exclusive or B2. B3 bar B2 plus B3 B2 bar. That is nothing but B3 exclusive or BT, B2. So this line represents B3. This line represents B2. So we need to perform exclusive or operation. So this is nothing but G2. G2. B3 exclusive or B2. Next, what is the formula for G1? B2 exclusive or B1. So this input represents B2. This input represents B1. So we need to perform the exclusive or operation. So this is nothing but G1 output. Next, what is the formula for G0? What is the formula for G0? Uh, the formula for G0 is B1 exclusive or B0. So B1 exclusive or B0. So this is nothing but G0. So this line represents B1. This line represents B0. Okay. So this is the logic circuit diagram. So in this way, we can construct very, very easily uh, about uh, converting, uh, designing a circuit for uh, converting a 4-bit binary number into the 4-bit uh, uh, gray code number.